Okay, welcome to another basic band lab video. Um, this one I'm going to be focusing on the loops part of this program. Um, so feel free to stick around, have a little bit of a look, hopefully pick up a, a few easy um, tips and be able to be successful in using um, the loops in your songs. So let's move over to the mixer. So here we've got the mixer. Um, this is where you'll start all your songs. It's the default um, layout of what you get where you can pick the different sources of what you're going to be picking your uh, sounds from. So here I'm going to go to the loops or browse the loops. And then this will pop up on the side here. So I've got all these different categories where we can try different sorts of styles of songs. Okay. And you can be clicking on the play button to sample what some of these sound like. <laughs> So there's a lot of different sorts of um, tastes catered for uh, with all these loops libraries they've got here. So let's go into this one that I've just finished on. And then you'll find you've got a lot of sound samples that you can be playing with. So at the top here I've got some bass ones. So when I click on one of these, you can then sample these. Okay, I actually like this one. So if I double click on it, it's going to create the track for me, all ready to go. Now you notice this one is was a 90 minute one. It's in C minor. Okay, and it goes for four bars. Along the top here, this is one of the first things to take notice of, is the timeline here with all the numbers. So these are the bars that you'd be lining up all your um, samples into. So this one starts at bar one, goes to the end of bar four, ready for the next thing. So some of the first things you can do, if I click on it and use my um, Command C or Control C, I can then paste this to wherever I've got the cursor. So I've duplicated it. Now this is the next thing to think about. Where I've currently got it is part the way between bar five and six and finishes part the way into bar nine. So make sure you're lining these up where you want them to start and where you want them to finish. Because if I move this over a little bit, now it's part the way through. So these four bar loop is designed to start on beat one and finish at the end of beat f uh, bar four, okay, of the four bar loop. So if I move that across, it's going to line up nicely with any others. So let's just have a little bit of play of that transition. So you've heard the start of that happen on a beat one. If I started that a little bit over, that would have sounded not on beat one anymore. So I'm going to move that over. Now, finding another sound, let's go look for another one. Actually, I don't mind this one. So if I double click on that again, let's drag that straight into the first bar. Now this one, I want this one to overhang a bit, and I know it goes for four bars. So if I bring this across and move my mouse here, it sort of clicks into space right under that three here. And I'm using that little marker to line things up a bit. So now this is going to finish halfway through my next loop. So let's have a little listen to that. Okay, now another way I can continue these sounds, if I grab hold of it where this little arrow, circular arrow is, I can drag this across until I get this little faint white line up here 
and that's the end of that line. And you can see that lines up with the start of R11 there. Okay, so I've just extended. Rather than copying and paste it, you can drag it and stretch it out there. Okay, let's look for another sound. What have we got here? Um, these effects, let's see if I want any of these. a sound at the end of that one. Mm, let's keep going. What else we got? Ooh, bit of a kick. I like one of these first two. this one let's go with that one so let's double click that in and I'm gonna move this along to start let's line that up there let's see what these layers now sound like Let's bring that back. Let's start these all again. Where'd it go? Copy. Oh, I did that wrong. Let's undo that. Your undo button is your best friend. So make sure you're selecting in the bar that you're trying to paste it into. There we go. I've done that. And I'm going to shorten that back down to its original file. Copy. Paste. And now I'm finishing them all at the same sort of spot now. So I've kept that going. Let's have a listen to some of that. Let's find something else. What have we got? A snare. Mm. Oh, that's a bit different. Oh, I like that one. Let's bring that one in. Let's drag it over. So let's go to something a bit different now. We'll start that there. Now, and I might keep this one going. Let's see what that sounds like. Keep some more of this sound going. Okay, so you've seen how I've been able to line up all these tra tracks. So let's find one of these other sounds. It's a little bit unique. Okay, this one's a bit different. Let's bring that one in. So, let's start at the beginning. Let's move it over underneath the base. So this is where it's lining up perfectly. Now, 
Now these are very rhythmic, this, this kick one, which is like this bass percussive thing, and this one, they've both got these rhythmic things. Now if I shift this just out by a bit, let's have another listen to that again. You can see how if you don't line things up, that's just created this very offbeat. It might be an effect you're after, um, but this, in this, this situation, the style of what I'm creating here, it sounds a little bit out of sync. So if I take it a bit further, so now this is lining up a complete beat out. Let's solo those two tracks. I don't actually mind that. That one actually works nice. What happens if we continue it a little bit more? I actually, let's see what it sounds like with the rest of it first. Will these other tracks line up okay? Let's keep that going a bit. Let's see what happens. I don't actually mind that. So what's going to happen when I get to this next bit? Because this is going to overlap something a little bit different here. There's a bit of an odd transition there. Now some of the things you can do is you can actually fade out. And I did this in one of my other videos. If you go to this show automation, what we could do is fade this one out. So I'm going to start at maybe about here and fade this one out. So by the time I get here, the rhythms and things that are in here should be disappearing and you'll be carried by these rhythms into this next section. So let's have a little listen here again. Take it back a bit. Okay, so hopefully you found this useful. So the things to think about, use the loops, have some fun with them. You can mix and match them between different things, um, different sorts of samples, but be aware of the length of your rhythm. Be aware of your key, and I might do another video on the key of things, and be aware on the beats per minute that some of these samples are at, because you'll find that some differences across this that will affect how they sit with each other, um, and you might get a message up saying there's going to be an adjustment um, that band labs will do if you bring those in. Okay, um, so just a few recaps. Pay attention to your bar numbers up the top. Pay attention to where you're making these sit within the beats. Okay, um, having it sitting on beat one, you're going to be working pretty much most of the time, it will be working pretty well. If you shift it out, we notice that um, it's going to affect the rhythmic aspects between the different tracks. So be really, really careful of where it starts and where it finishes because you may have to compensate at the other end um, when you're linking up with other loops and things. So hopefully you found that um, this a little bit helpful. Um, if you um, want any help or further help with some of these things, feel free to message in the comments. Um, and yeah, definitely um, be in contact. Any more videos, please give me some suggestions.